This video was shot with a very expensive camera. VGA quality, 18 frames per second. Note how bad the distortion is when the club gets up to the bottom of the swing. Even waggling the club causes the shaft to skew forward. When we turn the camera sideways with the top of the camera pointed down range, we get a much straighter look at the shaft when it gets near the ball. However, when it gets to waist level, it's still skewed. Now let's take a look at some stills. Here with the camera upright, you can see a lot of skew. When I turn the camera sideways and rotate the view, the shaft looks very straight. Again, upright, a lot of skew. Not correct. Camera sideways, just a touch of bend. This is the correct look. The camera upright, shaft at waist level. The shaft is correct, but the club head is stretched. With the camera turned, you see a lot of skew. Pre-impact, a lot of forward skew. With the camera turned, you can see the shaft droop, which is the correct look, but the club head has been squished. Post-impact, a lot of forward skew. With the camera turned, the shaft is bent backward. This is the correct look, but again, the club head is squished. Note the location of the hands in each of these stills. As I get closer to the camera, the skew grows. And in the last still, the skew is extreme. Post impact, from a distance, the shaft doesn't look too bad. There is some skew. But as we get closer, the skew becomes greater. And you can see the shock wave that's in the shaft that gives it that snake-like bend. I shot this video with the Sanyo Exacti FH1A. It shoots slow motion video. I use the 240 frames per second setting with the ISO set at 800. From a distance, no skew can be seen, but as we get closer, the skew becomes very obvious. I tested the Sanyo Exacti with seven different golf shafts. I wanted to compare the amount of forward skew with the upright camera position with the amount of skew that's shown when the camera's top is pointed down range. I took a full hard swing with every single club regardless of flex. My swing speed averages around 102 miles per hour. I saw very little difference in the amount of forward flex in the videos at either angle. The ladies flex clubs were very difficult to hit with a full swing. This is droop. This image appears to have no distortion. We can tell this because the ball is mostly round. Droop will appear in the video if the camera is set up down range of the golfer and looking back at an angle. If the camera is set up behind the golfer and looking forward at an angle, the droop will be completely hidden. Jamie Sedlowski shown in magazine shots with a lot of skew in his shafts. Note when he's shown on the Konica Minolta swing vision, his shafts are very straight. Same tournament, same day, amateur camera versus swing vision camera. This hangs in the fitting booth at the local golf store. You go in for a fitting, they'll point to the pro, show how his shaft is bending forward and tell you how important your flex is. But that pro's shaft is not really bending like that. So if you have a consumer type camera and you still want to be able to shoot your golf videos, I recommend that you turn the camera sideways, point the top of it down range, and just go ahead and shoot the videos. Take the camera home, put the videos on your computer and rotate them back upright using a video editor. And watch them that way. It will show you all your body positions, which is the most important thing you're looking for. The shaft will be skewed, but that's no big deal. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful.